Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. So I'm just going to be doing the eye makeup today so we're just going to skip straight through to the eyes first. So first things first I'm going to take some scotch tape and I'm actually going to use this as a little guide today. So I'm going to tape this up along the edges of my eye on an upward angle towards my brow. I want to make sure that they're both even. You don't want one angled up, one angled like more horizontal because it is going to be very noticeable with your eyeshadow. So just make sure they're even. Then I'm going to take my concealer. This is the Born This Way Cream Puff Concealer and I'm actually using this as my eye primer today. I love this because it does neutralize the eyes um, and cover up any redness or veins and helps the eyeshadow to show up really pigmented and true to its color. I'm dragging it out all the way towards the edge of the tape as you guys can see because we are dragging our eyeshadow out pretty far today. And for the first eyeshadow of the day, I'm going to take my Juvia's Place Deuce Palette and taking creme on a Zueva blending brush, I'm just going to place that on the outer corner of my eye and through the crease, not taking it past the center of the lid or like the crease area because we are going to go in with a completely different shade range there. Then I'm going to take Custard again from the same palette but on an Eeg Show blending brush, I'm going to take that slightly lower in the crease and deepen up the outer corner a little bit more. So I am building up these colors slowly but surely. I don't want to apply too much color and then have too much to work with. I want to slowly darken up the outer corner by applying a little bit of color at a time so it's easier to blend out. Then I'm going to take Plum from Sugar Pill and apply that to the outer corner of my eye, basically where we applied crusted and cream and I'm basically smoking that out through the crease a bit lower down and deepening it up a little bit more. I did start off with my Real Techniques blending brush but I changed to a pencil brush because I wanted it to be a little bit darker and more opaque and of course I go back and forth with the previous kind of pinky tones to soften any harsh lines or edges. For the inner corner of the eye I'm actually taking this beautiful kind of sky blue shadow from my Chi Chi Pride palette and applying that to the inner third of the eye socket. I'm not really bothering putting it on the lid area. This is going to be like our crease color for the inner corner of the eye. This kind of color range reminds me of like a unicorn. What do you guys think? I love it. I love the purples mixed with the blue. Anywho, <laughs> carrying on with the eye look. I'm going to take the Juvia's Place palette again and taking that gorgeous shimmery green shadow, applying that all over my lid with an Eeg Show flat shader brush. I'm basically bringing it all the way towards where the purple meets and blending it softly into the crease color, that like light blue shadow. Next I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and taking that kind of teal color and the shimmery pool party shadow, I'm placing that through the inner corner of my eye. I want to deepen up a little bit more. Uh, and blending that softly into that light green shimmery shadow that we used before. Then taking that sky blue shadow again on the crease brush from Zueva, like a fluffy crease brush, I'm just blending out the edges so there's no harsh lines and it just smokes out softly and beautifully. Next I'm taking Sapphire which is a single eyeshadow from Morphe and applying that initially with my finger um, to the point where the green meets the purple so in between that kind of area there on the outer corner of the eye just building it up so it blends into the purple and then I'm taking plum again from sugar pill I'm deepening up the very outer corner of the eye kind of blending it into the sapphire blue I also go back in with that light green shimmery shadow and blend it into sapphire as well so that sapphire kind of just melts together with the previous colors and there's no harsh lines or edges. Next I'm going to go in with some liquid liner. This is Cool AF from Rimmel I believe. I'll link it down below for you guys. It's like a dark purple eyeliner and I'm going in and lining my waterline with just like a typical you know winged liner at this stage and then I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette again and taking Royalty which is that shimmery purple shadow. I'm going in and applying that to the winged liner basically just the outer corner of the eye darkening it up and kind of smoking it out a little bit. I don't want the winged liner to be so harsh I want it to just smoke into the outer corner. So I'm basically placing that shimmery shadow along the winged liner and through the outer corner of the crease and eye area. 
and then taking sapphire again on a precise shader brush I believe I'm going in and just blending those shimmery shadows together so taking a bit of sapphire blending that together with basically you know all the other colors just so everything melts seamlessly together and then to kind of soften the edges of royalty I'm going in with plum again and just yeah smoking out any harsh lines or edges on the very outer corner of the eyes and you should have a little something like this so far next I'm going to take this dark kind of black brown shadow and some of the purple from the Chi Chi palette I'm going to darken up the outer corner a bit more I felt like it wasn't dark enough so I wanted to take a little bit of like that dark blacky brown shadow I think it's enchanted or something like that from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and yeah just basically darkening up the very outer corner of the eye I'm using more purple than the black I don't really like black uh, in colorful looks I am just using a bit more of the purple to darken it up um, and keep those colors there and then I go solely in with the purple on the very outer edges of those shadows and soften any harsh lines and edges like so next I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara this is the raw mascara um, with I think it's volumizing mascara with coconut oil and I'm just coating my lashes nice and dark prepping them for falsies and the falsies I went in with today are the Icona lashes in the style make him miss me from their midnight collection I like them because they're nice and wispy and long on the outer corner and they're short on the inner corner so they really complement that kind of feline cat eye look now for the most satisfying part of the video I'm going to peel off the tape and clean up my under eye area I actually use moisturizer and just kind of wipe away any excess eyeshadow that's fallen onto my face it's the easiest trick in the book to get rid of all the fallout and then I quickly went ahead and applied my base makeup so my foundation and all that kind of jazz I can do a full face tutorial if you guys would like like an updated foundation routine just let me know down below for my inner corner and brow bone highlight I went in with Ice Queen from Makeup Geek which is a shimmery white eyeshadow and then for my waterline I went in with Dusk which is kind of like a chip and lick chip which is a cheek and lip tint from Fat in the Moon but I love using it as like a waterline color it's very natural so it's actually okay to apply it to your eyes and then for my inner corner kind of lower lash line area I went in with Pegasus from Makeup Geek which is a beautiful blue kind of turquoisey foiled eyeshadow to kind of deepen up the lower lash line I'm going in again with royalty and applying that to the very outer kind of two-thirds of the eye deepening up that lower lash line area then to smoke it out I'm going to take my Chi Chi Pride palette and that kind of lighter shimmery purple shadow from the palette and just smoke out any harsh lines or edges with a pencil brush um, just so it's nice and smoky but I didn't want to drag it down too far I wanted to keep it kind of close to the lower lash line and to finish off with the liner I'm actually just kind of extending the inner corner a little bit um, to kind of create that feline cat eye look so I'm doing a little kind of triangle kind of extra point I guess <laughs> on the inner corner of the eye and then going in with some bottom lash mascara so this next step to the eye look is optional I want to be super dramatic today so I went in with some individual lashes on my bottom lash line you can also just cut up a lash as well and just place the fragments along the bottom lash line area but I just I like using individual lashes I find it easier so I applied about four or five along my bottom lash line to really dramatize up this look you know and went in with a very deep berry red lip what do you guys think of the combo <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look. Let me know what you think down below and what you'd like to see next. I love you all so much. Have a great week and I'll see you very soon. Mwah. Bye guys.